choose between Zamboanga City and Zamboanga Sibugay from our road trip. This trip happened in March because in the middle of March, we went to Zamboanga City to have a little antsy wincy weekend shopping vacation. There are no malls in Ipil Zamboanga Sibugay yet. Yet. Capital yet. So, Zamboanga City is the place to be for shopping. We checked out KCC Mall and a little bit of SM Mind Pro on this trip. And on this video, I will be showing you the two hotels we stayed at. The Martian Garden Hotel and the Grand Astoria. So, now you know which hotel we'll start with. The Grand Astoria it is. The Grand Astoria is mostly popular as an events place with its grand halls best for weddings and conferences. Alright, so we're at the Skyview Function Hall, just taking a peek. And they have this great view from here of the city right here and there you go that's Sambonga city good morning and this is the sky view function hall They have a big parking lot to accommodate their guests, but you have to go round the block to the Phoenix gas station to enter. So, unfortunately, overall, I wasn't very impressed with the Grand Astoria. Starting with their long check-in process, I've been to a few hotels. This is one of the longest check-in processes I've ever experienced. The longest was at the MGM Grand, but that was because there was this whole line of people checking in. The Grand Astoria didn't have a lot of guests checking in while we were waiting. We made a reservation over the phone. They wanted us to pay up front before checking in, which wasn't really much of a problem more than it could have been an insult, <laughs> except they asked us that it needed to get paid about more than 20 minutes into waiting. They did provide us with a decent sized room with two single beds, a vanity, a closet, a luggage rack, a fridge, an electric kettle, toiletries, and COVID kits. The room had no microwave, and in lieu of the buffet breakfast, they served this type of sad breakfast. The bathroom, which I failed to take photos of, is the size of a powder room plus half of the usual shower space. So, do I recommend the Grand Astoria? As a place to leave your bags to head out to other destinations, I would think Grand Astoria is a good choice for its security. Other travelers might want to look for a cheaper alternative though. But as for me, I will not stay at the Grand Astoria again. Let me go, there's no doubt. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere I see. 
about the Martian Garden Hotel. The Martian Garden Hotel offers a picturesque exterior, lobby, and interior. They have a high ceiling room with two double beds, a desk, an office chair, and blackout curtains. Provided coffee, creamer, tea, water, cups, kettle, all you need for that in room coffee session. There's also a safe in room, however, there's no fridge or microwave. They did provide slippers too, though. There is ample storage space inside the room and they provided a full set of toiletries. They served a decent buffet breakfast. Not a lot of food options, but decent just the same. And they have this pool in the middle of the hotel. And you know, water is life. So yes, I recommend the Martian Garden Hotel. Let me go, there's no doubt. Gotta get out of this small town. You took my heart from me. Now you're everywhere I see. Let me free, let me fly, let me find new kinds of highs. We're just wasting here, waiting for another year. We both know the score, we've been here once before. So many words unspoken, you took my heart, it's already broken. <laughs> 